show to actually come into the yard with me to help feed the birds. So that's a very fun opportunity. We'll be asking a question at the end of the show based on the stuff that we learn um, to help determine who gets that fun opportunity. So stick around for that. First off vote, as you guys know, they're nearly to go shopping. We will see birds. Well, you might not always have a chance to think about those, how those birds affect our lives as humans every single day. If you got a chance to see our African gray parrot at the beginning of the show, you'll know that his important role in nature is seed dispersal. So birds affect the food that they eat, or that we eat, um, in that way as well as in pollination. Birds also help control insects and even prevent the spread of disease. So birds have very important roles that they have for about the past 10 minutes here. Um, our next bird might not have the flashiest feathers in the bird world, but his feathers have been prized for over a century to tie salmon fly lures. It's our quarry buster. Now what we do here at the zoo is we collect the feathers that our quarry molts naturally and we send them off to the, those feathers off to those fly tires so that they can use those feathers instead of feathers that may be from birds poached in Africa. So great win-win situation here. We're helping with a lot of weight for a bird. So they have a nine foot wingspan to be able to get that weight off the ground. Um, because of that, they usually just hang out on the ground. They eat things like rodents and snakes, lizards, um, insects as well. Also, we'll eat the, ins or the insects that are on the crops. We've so, to cover. they're helping control those pests. It's a great form of organic pest control, which is great for you and I because that's the food we're eating. So, the more eager it's out, so they can get out here so everybody can see them. Even further out, if you can, just really throw it far. Good job. Excellent. So, does anyone recognize what they are? They look kind of like chickens, don't they? They're helmeted guinea fowl. They're related to chickens. They're raised here in the U.S. for food, uh, for eggs. Um, they're also raised in Africa for the same purpose, for a source of food and source of income. Other animals will actually listen to the call of the guinea fowl, especially in Africa, to know if there's a predator nearby that they need to be alarmed. So a very important bird. So what have we so far learned that can be released back out there? But what do vultures eat? Meat. They eat meat, don't they? Do they hunt? No, they don't. They are scavengers, aren't they? They eat dead stuff. Doesn't sound very yummy to eat something that's kind of been dead for a while, right? Somebody has to do that important job, though, and no animal is better equipped than the vulture to deal with death and disease. Vultures have really strong stomach juices that kill the bacteria in the food here for them to eat, and you'll be able to hear them and see them. This is exactly what you would see. If you actually closed your eyes and thought about being in Africa, this is exactly what you'd be hearing. Um, if you came across a carcass and the lions had had their fill and the hyenas had eaten and the vultures come in and take the scraps. They have to be competitive with each other and fight because they don't hunt. They rely on those other animals to do the hunting for them, so they have to take advantage of a meal when they can. So they'll often try to vouch for the best piece of meat. That wasn't the very most graceful dismount. <laughs> They're much more graceful in the sky when they're, when they're soaring for uh, looking for food. Unfortunately, those scenes where you see lots of vultures around carcass are becoming less and less common. Um, number one threat to vultures in the wild is poisoning. Poison is put out for other animals like lions, hyenas. But vultures are so good at their job that no matter what they find, you'll see a final flight from a bird that you see almost every day. <laughs> Symbol of hope and peace. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I do have that trivia question for you for that chance to come into the yard with me. 
need to feed the birds, so... This is right next to the zoo parking lot.